how are you? Hello. Hello, teacher. Okay, thank you for being here just in time. Okay, I appreciate your attendance. Let's expect that the other partners join later on, okay? So tell me how was your day at work? Hoy no trabajé. Really? So you say, okay, I didn't work today. I didn't work today. 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 Excellent. And you say today is my day off. Okay. okay. So you say like this. Okay. Um, for example, you may say, we, well, I'm going to diminish this and where I'm going to stop. Hey, what's going on over here? Um, but I'm going to share. Hello, Eliseo, welcome. Hi. Hi. Hello. Good evening. Welcome. Good evening. Okay, over here we say, um, say today is my day off with double S, so you don't work, yes? Mm -hmm. Or what you said, I didn't work today because it was my day off, yes? Today I didn't work because it was my day off, okay? So uh, welcome to the last class. And I don't know if, it's, if it is raining in your neighborhoods or the places where you are. Is it raining? Yes she, or no? Yes. yes. For the moment, no. No. Ah, no. but you are at work, right, Eliseo? You are working. Yes. Yes, okay, great. So here we go. And right now I'm going to get started because we have a lot of practice. And let me see here. I'm going to share with you guys this part, okay? And for today, we have our session number 16. And the objective. Who is going to read the objective for today? Eliseo or Jocelyn? Okay, only okay, one. Going to read. Okay, please. Okay, in this session, we will work on reading and email and answering comprehension questions. Excellent. So the topic for today is reading. But before we go over the topic for today, let me ask you the following. What did we practice yesterday? Do you remember what you practiced yesterday in class? The past, okay. the past perfect. Uh-huh, the past perfect and the? The foreign scenes. Okay, uh, yesterday we practiced the simple past tense and also the Present perfect tense, yes? Mm -hmm. Yes. And also you were practicing uh, with the prepositions for and things, yes? Mm -hmm. yes? And also with how, how many, yes, questions. How many questions? And also have you ever, yeah? Have you ever, and you were building questions and you were providing also answers, right? Okay, very well. Let's remember that you can say, have you ever, uh, blah, blah, blah. For example, have you ever eaten snake? Mm -hmm. If I ask you that question, what could be the potential answer? Jocelyn, have you ever eaten a snake? A snake? No, I haven't. As far as I know, you say, right? Tanto como yo sé, I haven't, because sometimes your friends give you the food and you believe it is something else, right? 
And what about you, Eliseo? Have you ever eaten a snake? No, I haven't. Jeremy, have you ever eaten a snake? No, I haven't. Okay. Um, in my understanding, I have never eaten snake either. Okay. And I think I, I wouldn't like to, but it is exotic food. In our country, if you go to um, a taco, for example, they offer you a snake, snake, snake. Yeah. I don't know if you have had the chance to be in to be in that place and then you may listen to what they offer to the tourists because it is a cosmopolitan place, visitors from different countries. Claudia, hello. I have a question for you, Claudia. Claudia, have you ever eaten snake? Hello, Claudia. Hello, teacher. Have you ever eaten snake? snake like cobra or i don't know another one uh-huh have you ever eaten a snake anaconda cobra anaconda what is the other one very famous yeah yes or no claudia yes i have or no i haven't no i haven't okay as far as you know very well okay class now uh, we're going to go over uh, the platform. And here you have this activity that probably you went through before. So you're going to read Sarah's email and then you're going to check for things she can do in her neighborhood. So we're going to read that email, yeah? And we're going to practice reading, pronunciation, and also, mm, let me see if I can, okay, here. Reading time. Hi, Nina, guess what? Okay, here. Guess what? I moved into my new apartment yesterday. I really like my new roommates. I also like the neighborhood. There are lots of different restaurants here. Okay. Last night, I ate at a Vietnamese restaurant just around the corner. The food was delicious. And I was, and I want to try a new Brazilian. Okay, this is the sound. Z Brazilian restaurant near here for breakfast this morning. I came to this great coffee shop across from my apartment. Actually, it's an internet cafe. So I'm emailing you now. It's a really convenient neighborhood. It's a really convenient neighborhood. There's a laundromat on our street. And there are some interesting stores too. One store sells lots of amazing CDs, DVDs, and books from all over the world. And my roommates told me there's a dance club just two blocks away. I want to go dancing every weekend. Come visit, Sarah. Okay, so do you have any question about pronunciation or vocabulary in this uh, very short email? No questions. Okay. We have a dude, a Vietnamese. Vietnamese, 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 yeah, Vietnamese restaurant. Do you remember we have been working with Korean? restaurant Korean food, yes? yes? And you were practicing in the sentences too. So I'm going to read it once again. Hi, Nina, guess what? Adivina que? Guess what? I moved into my new apartment yesterday. I really like my new roommates, roommates. I also like the neighborhood. 
there are lots of different restaurants here. Last night I ate at, I ate at a Vietnamese restaurant just around the corner. But notice that here you have to pronounce the words together because you're not going to expect that you're going to listen. I ate at a Vietnamese. What you are going to listen is, I ate, a, I ate, at, a, I ate at a Vietnamese restaurant. At, at a, I ate at a Vietnamese. I ate at a Viet, at, 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 at a, this T sounds like R. In phonetics, we know this sound as the flap sound, okay? When the T is pronounced in American English as R. I ate at a Vietnamese restaurant. I ate at a, at a, no, at a, at a, at a Vietnamese restaurant just around the corner. If you remember in the previous classes, we were working with the linked sounds when the sounds go together and they sound in a different way. Around the corner, the food was delicious. And I want to, I want to, because one, two go together. And I want to try a new Brazilian. How do you pronounce this letter in English? Z, yeah? Brazilian restaurant near here for breakfast. This morning, I came to this great coffee shop across from my apartment. Actually, shh, actually, actually, okay. Actually, it's an internet. You don't say, we're not going to listen internet. You're going to listen internet. They usually don't pronounce the letter T. The internet, internet. Cafe, so I'm emailing you, so I'm emailing you now. <clears throat> it's a really convenient neighborhood. There's a laundromat on our street and there are some interesting stores too. One store sells lots of amazing CDs, DVDs and books from all over the world. And my roommates told me there's a dance club. This EU doesn't sound like you. You say there's a dance club. Club, just. Club, just. There's a dance club just two blocks away. I want to go dancing every weekend. Come visit. Ven a visitarnos. Come visit Sarah, okay? Now that I have read for you, we're going to answer the questions that you had in the platform. Okay, so uh, here we go. And let's see, tell me which are the activities that Sarah can perform in her neighborhood? Because here you have the instruction. Check for things she can do in her neighborhood. Your choices are read books, eat Venezuelan food, exercise at a gym, get a haircut, go dancing, go shopping, make travel arrangements, see movies, send emails, wash and dry clothes. Okay, what do you think she can do? Okay. Can she read books? Yes? Okay, let's see. Let's click. And then can she eat a Venezuela uh, can she eat a Venezuelan food? No. No, she can't because it is Vietnamese, right? Can she exercise at a gym? No. It doesn't mention, so we assume that she cannot do it. Get a haircut? No. No, because she doesn't mention uh, information about a beauty shop or a salon, right? Go dancing? Yes. Yes, because she says here, right? And then go shopping? 
No. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes, because one store sells lots of amazing CDs and books from all over the world. So go shopping, yes. And then make travel arrangements. No. Um, can she send emails? Yes. Yes, because there's a, a cafe. Ah, wash and dry clothes. Mm, there's a laundromat. There's a laundromat so she can do it. So there are more than four things. One, two, three, four, and five. Wash and dry the clothes because in a laundromat, remember that there is a, a washing machine and a dryer machine, yes? Yes. So actually she can, okay. One store sells lots of books. Okay, very well. So now that we have gone over that exercise, your next activity is this. Okay, you're going to be reading. You're going to take turns in the breakout rooms class and you are going to read this email, okay? So before we move to the breakout rooms, I would like to have two volunteers. One volunteer is going to read the first paragraph and the second volunteer is going to read the second paragraph, okay? So who's going to read the first paragraph? Volunteer? Me coach. Okay, Eliseo is going to read the first paragraph. And who is going to read the second volunteer? The second paragraph, sorry. The second volunteer to read the second uh, paragraph? <gasps> hey, you have to practice class. Hello? Jeremy, Jeremy are you here? Jeremy, are yeah, you in sure. this virtual world with <laughs> us? Okay, thank you, Jeremy. You're going to read? The second paragraph. Thank you for volunteering, Jeremy Eliseo. Okay, here we go. To the count of three, you begin, Eliseo. One, two, three. Begin, please. Hi, Nina. Guess what? I moved into my new apartment yesterday. I really like my new roommates. I also like the neighborhood. There are a lot of different restaurants here. Last night, I ate at a Vietnamese restaurant just around the corner. The food was delicious. And I want to try a new Brazilian restaurant near here for breakfast this morning. I came to this great coffee shop across from my apartment. Actually, it's an internet coffee. So I'm emailing you now. Thank you. Jeremy, the second paragraph. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it's a really convenient neighborhood. There's a laundromat on our street, and there are some interesting, interesting mm -hmm. stores. One store sells lots of amazing CDs and DVDs and books from all over the world. And my roommate told me there's a, there's a dance club just two blocks away. I want to go dancing every weekend. Come visit, Sara. Okay, thank you so much. Only to uh, tell you class that we have convenient, convenient. It's a really convenient neighborhood. And what else? Ah, here, cafe. It's an internet cafe. How did we used to call that before? Um, to the place where you, there used to be a lot of computers and you paid for about 10 or 15 minutes or one hour and you could use the computer with uh, internet connectivity. Do you remember? the name that we use to give in Spanish to those places. What? No, you don't remember. Yeah. Because when, no. you know, internet was not so, so accessible to everybody and the cell phones and the devices 
uh, like uh, laptops, computers were not so accessible to everybody. Uh, there were also internet cafes here. Mm -hmm. But they used to have a, a specific name that we gave them in Spanish, but I don't remember the name in Spanish right now. Okay. Cyber Cafe. That's excellent, amazing, thank you. That is an internet cafe. That's why we call it cafe. Uh, repeat, Miss. <laughs> How was that? Cyber Cafe. Cyber Cafe, okay, very well. So it is not Cyber Coffee, it is internet cafe. Cafe, okay? And if you notice here, this uh, word has been taken from uh, the French language, okay? Because it has also here, you see, a stress, cafe. Because in English, it is coffee, right? Cafe, but it is re related to the place. And she is emailing from that place. In other words, she doesn't have a computer at home because she had to go to that internet cafe so she can have a connectivity and a computer to send emails. Yes? Okay, very well. So right now, the idea is that you're going to be transferred to the breakout rooms and all of you are going to have the chance. You take turns in order to read the complete email to practice pronunciation, okay? Is it clear? Yes? Yes. Yes. Okay, yes. great. So right now, but first, okay. Yes, you can share. Okay, here we go. If you want to share your screen, feel free to do it. Did I share it with you via WhatsApp? No, not yet, right? But you have it, okay? But I'm going to share it. So to make your life uh, easier to you. So here we go. And then I'm going to share it via WhatsApp over here. Okay. okay. There you are, class. You have it, right? And now we can move, so there's no excuse. Right now, pay close attention. I'm going to send you the invitation, okay? Okay, please join your groups. Join your groups and begin the reading practice, please. Uh, Dennis, we need you in group number one, if you are so nice. Dennis, Mr. Palacios. Dennis Palacios, we need you in group number one, if you are so nice, please. Thank you. Okay, over here. Here. I stop. Okay. Empiezo yo. Okay. Hi, Nina. Guess what? I moved into my new apartment yesterday. I really like my new roommate. I also like the neighborhood. There are lots of different restaurants here. Last night, I ate I at Vietnamese restaurant just around the corner. The food was delicious, and I want to try a new Brazilian restaurant near here. For breakfast this morning, I came to this great coffee shop across from my apartment. Actually, it's an internet cafe, so I am emailing you now. It's a really convenient neighborhood. There's a laundromat on our street and Vietnam restaurant is around the corner. 
the food was delicious and I want to try a new Brazilian restaurant near here for breakfast this morning. I come to this great coffee shop across from my apartment. Actually, it's an in internet cafe, so I am emails you now. Okay, uh, ahora Dennis. Vaya. It's a really convenient neighborhood. There is a long map on all. Bueno, es que mo estás moviendo la imagen. Vaya, otra vez. It's a really common neighborhood and there are some interesting stories, two one stories, there are a lot of amazing CDs, DVDs and books from all over the world. Any my romance romance told me there's a dance club just that blocks away. I want to come and visit. Sara. Ok, me, ahora empiezo yo. Dale. Eh, ok. Hi Nina, guess what? I moved, I moved into my new apartment yesterday. I really like my new roommate. I also like the neighborhood. There are lots of different restaurants here. Last night, I ate a Vietnamese restaurant just around the corner. The food was delicious and I want to try a new Brazilian restaurant near here. For breakfast this, for breakfast this morning, I came to this great coffee shop across from my apartment. Actually, it's an internet coffee, so I am emailing you now. Ahora, Claudia. It is a, a really convenient neighborhood. There is a laundromat on, on our street, and there are some interesting stores, too. One store sells a lot, lot of ama amazing CDs, DVDs, and books from all over the world. In my in my roommate told me there's a dance club just two blocks away. I want to go dancing every weekend. Come visit Sara. Okay, Dennis. Principio. Sí. Hi Nina, guess what? I moved into new apartment yesterday. I really like my new romances. I also like the neighborhood. There are a lot of different restaurants here. Last night, I ate at, at Viet, Vietnamese, Vietnamese restaurant just around the corner. The food was delicious and I went to a new Brazilian restaurant near here. For breakfast this morning, I come to this great coffee shop across from my apartment. Actually, it is a internet coffee, so I am a male, you know. Okay, uh, it's a really convenient neighborhood. There's a laundromat on Howard Street and there are some interesting, interesting stores. One store sells lots of amazing CDs, DVDs and books from all over the world. And my roommates told me 
There is the dance club two blocks away. I want to go dancing every weekend. Come visit, Sara. Hey. Okay. Uh, Finished. Sí. Yes. Okay, great. So let's get back and then we continue with the other activities. Thank you so much for your participation class. Okay. Let's get back to the main session room. Okay. Only to point the following. Um, roommate, neighborhood, Vietnamese, Vietnamese restaurant, just around the corner. It is an expression, just around the corner. Justo, justamente around the corner. Um, next one, Brazilian restaurant. Restaurant, no. Restaurant, restaurant, Brazilian restaurant. Came to this great coffee shop, coffee shop. Across from, across from, go together. Across from my apartment, across from my uh, house, across from my uh, building, across from my uh, workplace. Actually, it's an internet cafe. Cafe. So I'm emailing you now. And what else? Let me see. Ah, uh, laundromat. Convenient. Convenient. The stress goes here. Convenient. La fuerza de voz va acá. Convenient. Convenient. Then convenient. Neighborhood. And I think that's it. Okay. And dance club. Just two blocks away. And that's it. And now we move to the next activity. If you don't have any question, of course, because uh, I don't know what are the activities that you can do and the activities that you cannot do in your neighborhood. We're going to work on that. You're not going to write an email, but look at this. Writing and speaking time. I need you to write seven things you can do in your neighborhood. For example, things I can do in my neighborhood, you may say, I can run in the park. I can go to the mall. I can eat Chinese food in my neighborhood. And you continue with uh, the other activities that you can do seven seven activities, seven things that you can do in your neighborhood and the negatives. Write seven things you can't do in your neighborhood, the opposite. Things I can't do in my neighborhood. I can't go to a disco or a dance club, yeah? I can't go to a river. I can't ride a horse or any other activity that you cannot do. Maybe to some of you, it is the opposite because maybe to some of you, you say, I can ride a horse. It is not negative, but it is affirmative. Don't feel like I can't ride a horse must be negative. If in your real life, you can ride a horse, you ride it over here. Yes. Okay, so we're going to start because later on, you're going to answer these questions. What can you do in your neighborhood? What can't you do in your neighborhood? Okay, is it okay? okay. Is it clear? Yeah, it's okay. Uh, una pregunta. Ask me. Ole, uh, what meaning neighborhood? Eh, colonia, comunidad, vecindario. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, the place where you live. But it is not in your house. It is around, okay, the community, the what we say, la colonia, la comunidad, mm -hmm. that you can do in there because there are different things that you can do at home and in the neighborhood, okay? 
I'm going to share this with you via WhatsApp so you can have it in there. And let me see over here. This one. Okay. So we can have it. Okay, guys, there you are. And when you are ready, you let me know so we can move to the breakout rooms in order to ask and answer these questions. What can you do in your neighborhood? What can't you do in your neighborhood? So seven things you can do and seven things you cannot do in your neighborhood, okay? If you have any question, you can ask me right now. I'm going to give you a couple of minutes, okay? Later, we're going to move the breakout rooms. For doubts or questions, ask me, don't hesitate. No duden en preguntar, okay?
Are you ready? Did you finish class? Writing the activities? Hello. Yes, I finished. Okay, great. Who else is done besides Eliseo? Hello, class. Knock, knock. Somebody else here? Coach, como if I want to say, quiero pedir comida a domicilio. Okay. I can ask for delivery, oh. delivery food Ooh. service. I can ask for delivery food service. Thank you. Okay, my pleasure. Okay, class, now we're going to move to the breakout rooms and you are going to ask and answer the questions, okay? What can you do in your neighborhood and what can't you do in your neighborhood? Let's get ready. I'm going to open the breakout rooms right now. Here we go. Okay. Join your groups, please, and begin the speaking practice. Join your groups and practice speaking. Okay, great. Dennis, we need you in group number one. Hello, Mr. Palacios. Dennis Palacios, we need you in group number one. If you are so nice, Dennis, Dennis, thank you. I I can go to the church. I can go to the pupuseria. I can run in the soccer field. I can go to the store. I can go to the park. I can go. No sé si alguien lo terminó. Una cada una. Ah, okay. De la okay. primera. Va, eh, empezaría yo, quizá. Eh, in my neighbor. De... Una cada uno. Sí. Va, ok. In my neighborhood, I can go to the park. Uh, I can go to the store. Uh, I can eat tacos. I can do exercise. I can do my homework. I can do, I can meeting with friends and I can play with my son. Eh, no sé quién diría, las, las que no pueden su, en su colonia. I can go at, at night. Uh, I can play at night. And I can run it at night. Claudia, your sentences? Hello, Claudia. Hello, teacher. Okay. Uh, well, Jeremy or Dennis ask the question to Claudia. Affirmative or negative? What can you do in your neighborhood or what can you, can't you do in your neighborhood? <laughs> Okay, Claudia, what can you do in your neighborhood? 
Negative sentences, Claudia. Things that you cannot do in your neighborhood. Claudia, do you have the sentences? Or at least one sentence? Al menos una oración, Claudia? Negative. Um, I can't go out at night. I can't? I can't go out at night. I can't go out at night. Um, okay. No. <laughs> So that's, that's <laughs> everything, okay? But you can go out, okay? Okay, I can't go to a restaurant at night, yes? Yes. A lot of <laughs> sentences at night, but during the day you can do it, yes? <laughs> okay, yes, now teacher. let's get back. Thank you, class. Let's get back because it is the second part with the activities, the things that you can do and you can't do at work. Okay. Thank you for your participation, class. Let's get back to the main session room. Okay, so now we continue with the second part of the activity. If you notice guys here, the questions are in pink. What can you do at work? What can't you do at work? But now you are going to be asking and answering this question number three and number four here in the main session room. Okay, I start. And I ask uh, Eliseo, what can what can you do at work? What can you do at work? Well, in my work, I in my work or in my job. Okay, it is the place work. Okay. Mm -hmm. In my work, I can in your place. I can study, mm -hmm. and also I can walk around the plant and also I can talk with my coworker and with a lot of people and I can use the computer and that's it. Okay, very well. Now the opposite, the negatives. What can't you do at work in your workplace? I Negative. can't, I can't uh, use my cell phone because it's oh. for me. Prohibited, it is forbidden. Okay. And also, I let me see. I I can't uh, use uh, any machine, and also uh, I can't uh, talk with beers. Really. And that's it. Okay, thank you. Now, Eliseo, you ask the two questions to one of your classmates. Um, Claudia. Claudia, get ready with your answers. Okay, Eliseo. Claudia, what can you do in your work? Claudia, knock, knock. Are you here, Claudia? Okay, Eliseo, ask the question to another classmate. You may ask Dennis, Jeremy, or Dennis. Jocelyn. Dennis, what cannot you do in your work? Negative. Dennis? Uh, I cannot my cell phone. I cannot use my cell phone. My cell phone. And I cannot the other sonar. 
Eh, other zone. Eh. Ah, you cannot go to any other area. You need to stay in your working area. Yes. In the, in the area, the work. At work, only. Uh -huh. in your, only in your area. For example, okay. in my case, if I am in, in the academy, I can stay in my room or I can go to the to the to my boss office or I can go to the to the reception, yeah. That yes. is on the desk, yes. but in your case, no, you have to stay in your in your place, in your working mm. area. Ah, okay, that's in interesting. The side, the work. Okay, very well. Excellent. Mm -hmm. um, I cannot the more speaking speak to the others and in, 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 uh -huh, the others compañeros. Uh, uh -huh. You can I cannot talk to my other co-workers. Uh -huh. Okay, uh -huh, yes. So and no distraction, no distraction at all. You need no to be focused. Uh -huh. and, and, and my machine. On oh, your machines, yeah, okay. Only, only my word is um, from the computer. Ah, to be focused yeah. on the computer, yeah. Okay. Okay. This, this is my word. Okay, great. No, no, this, no, distraer, my distraction. Not to be distracted and not More, to distract others. Oh, uh -huh. Okay, okay, focus, focused. Okay, now, Dennis, focus. you ask the questions to uh, maybe Jeremy, Jocelyn, or Claudia. You choose. What can you do Jocelyn. at work? And can Jocelyn get ready? Jocelyn, hello. Hello. Okay, hello. Dennis. What, what can you do work? Affirmative sentences, Jocelyn. What can you do Affirmative. at work? Uh -huh. The things I, that you can do. I can go to my lunch. I can use the computer. Mm -hmm. I can study and only that. Okay. Okay. And Jocelyn, ask the question to Jeremy. Sharing me, uh, what can you do in your neighborhood? No, at work. Work. Uh, <laughs> what can't you do at work? Okay, negatives, right? Jocelyn? Negative. Okay, yes. Jeremy. Hello, Jeremy. Okay, okay. Uh, I, I, can, I can have a girlfriend. Uh, I can... I can I can drink uh, alcohol. I can smoke. Uh, I can go to the disc. Uh, I can go to the beach. I can see the river. Uh, only that. But he, okay. And now, Jeremy, you ask the question to Claudia. Claudia, are you here? Hello, teacher. Okay, Jeremy, Jeremy, ask the question to Claudia. Jeremy. Okay, Claudia, but what can you do in your, in your work? Affirmative sentences. The things that you can do at work, in your workplace. I can drink water. I can eat lunch. I can study. Mm -hmm. I can use a computer. And no. No, you cannot use a computer. Yeah. No. So you can use a cell phone. <laughs> yes or no? Yes. Okay, very yeah. well, because in other places, you are not allowed to use a cell phone, yeah? Mm -hmm. okay. okay, very well. Now I have a question for each of you, okay? So get ready for your answers. 
Denis Palacios, I have a question for you. Denis, ready? Denis. Denis, hello. Okay, Denis, I have a question for you. I need you to give me your answer. Denis, have you ever, um, have you ever swam in a lake? Swam in a lake, for example, Cuatepeque uh, Lake. Have you ever swam? Swim, swam, swam. Okay, have you ever swam in a lake? I, I don't know the swim. So you say, no, I have never. Yes? No, I have never. No, I have it's, never. It, because I can't no, swim. I never. Swam in a lake. Yes? Okay, it, thank you. Yes. Okay, Jeremy, the question goes to you. Jeremy, okay. have you ever, have you ever, um, cooked seafood have you ever cooked seafood you know seafood uh, mariscos uh, i can't i can't cook teacher ah, okay so you say no i haven't or no i have never cooked seafood yes ah, okay. Okay. okay very well jocelyn jocelyn hello teacher Hello, Jocelyn. Jocelyn, have you ever uh, written in German? Have you ever written in German? No, I haven't. Excellent. Eliseo, my question goes to you. Hello, Eliseo. Okay. Eliseo, have you ever sang uh, reggaeton? Yes. Yes, I have. Okay. Uh, yes, have. Okay. Or yes, I have already sang reggaeton. Yes. Claudia. Hello, Claudia. Hello, teacher. The question goes to you. Claudia, have you ever have you ever drunk goat milk? Have you ever drunk okay, goat milk? Leche de cabra. Have you ever drunk? Go to no, milk. Okay, me either, as far as I know. Okay, listen to me, class. It was a real pleasure to work with you. I wish you the best, and I expect that all of you are going to be in the next level. Okay, so congratulations for your responsibility, your persistence, and that is the way. Remember, practice makes perfect. You need to continue practicing and doing all the assignments in the platform in the different levels in order to achieve your goal. There is the only way to acquire and to speak a language by practicing, practicing, and practicing, okay? So thank you so much for being here. I wish you again, I tell you the best and be careful with the rain, okay? And with the viruses out there. So have a good night. God bless you. And it was a real pleasure to be with you. God bless you. Have a good night. Okay, good take night. care. Good night. You too. Thank you. Bye-bye. Uh, take care. God bless you. Bye-bye. Bye, teacher. Bye, take care. It was my pleasure to be with you. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.